I want to show you a cool little project I did with one of my sons. Uh, we all have these iPod touches and we watch like Netflix and movies and TV shows and videos on them and uh, we needed something to stand them up on. So uh, we got the idea that we just need to make some little simple wooden stands uh, for the for the iPod touch and we can make them in different shapes and stuff. So I had a lot of scrap two by four pieces so we came out to the workshop uh, we made some measurements on the iPod and uh, just took a piece of two by four and started drawing out some little plans uh, and here what I the way we started was we drilled a hole uh, I don't know about half inch from the edge and we were making four of them so we drilled four holes and these were going to be uh, become the notches where the iPod touch would s sit in it and stand up. So we cut out the notch uh, to the hole and then we started cutting out different shapes uh, just making sure that it would stand level. Um, so there's the first one we came up with was just a standard you know block of wood with a curved top and we did a little sanding uh, you can see there but uh, here's how it looks it's just a little piece of wood uh, with a notch out of it and the iPod stood up great uh, so now we have something you know we can use to uh, sit and watch videos and things without having to hold the thing uh, we're kinda lazy <laughs> But uh, they turned out looking pretty cool. So I had my son try his hand at cutting one out with a bandsaw. I think it's the first time he had used the bandsaw. So, uh, but we didn't really draw plans. We just kind of sketched a shape uh, around the hole that I drilled, and that's how we cut them out. Uh, just some quick sanding on sanding discs was all it really took. Uh, some hand sanding, smooth the edges, and. There's the second one we did. And it was more of a curved shape, had a different, uh, rather than a flat bottom, it had kind of an arch in it. So that one was pretty cool too. But they work really well, and they're simple, quick projects. Uh, kids like them because it's kind of the instant gratification thing. Uh, this is Nicholas cutting one out and took it over to the sander and sanded some edges and then there we're working on the third one with this one I kinda got a little creative with the the curved and uh, I used the bandsaw to make more of a curved shape uh, got a little artistic with this one uh, but you'll see the shape that comes out there what I'm going for that was just the cutoff piece. It looked kind of funny. <laughs> but it's pretty easy to do, and it's uh, turned out pretty good. Everybody seems to like that one. It's kind of a neat shape. Uh, only issue with it is uh, it's cross grain there, and that uh, the bend of the curve to the top part. Uh, so, you know, if you stepped on it or something, it might break and cross the grain. But, so, if you do some, just think about that. You might want to make the wood a little thicker or something. Uh, but there's all the ones we made, and it turned out to be a really cool project. So, see you next time.